Hey guys, it's Jamie here, and what I want to talk to you about today is listening to what other people say. So the reason I want to raise this in is because I know that we all put on a big strong front and pretend that we all don't mind what other people say, but I also know that we all do really take into consideration what other people say about us, what they think about us, um, and what they believe about us. And my point and my key message today is that what other people say, think and believe about you doesn't matter. And here's why. So I know we are all connected on social media. That's a big one. If someone doesn't approve of something you do, you, you might feel a bit embarrassed. You might feel a bit silly. Um, but equally, some people's opinions of you might not be what you want. And they might not be what you want to hear. So my message today is don't believe what people say. So for example, you'll have people who will see you doing something that you're proud of and that you believe in. And they'll say... You can't do it, you'll, it will never work. They'll say, you're no good at that. You'll say, they'll say, you're not the right person for this and you don't fit into their idea of what you should be in some way. Now, sometimes this is easy to ignore because it'll be people we don't care about, like strangers or trolls on the internet, whatever. Sometimes it's harder, it's family members, it's friends, it's people whose opinions you respect. And it's moments like these that we start to consider, well, maybe I should change. Maybe I should stop doing what I'm doing because maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I'm embarrassing myself. Maybe they're right. And I'm here to say, don't believe what people say. The key message is, what people say is often a reflection of what they think of themselves. If somebody's telling you're not good at something, if somebody's got a, a chip on their shoulder against you, the chances are it's got nothing to do with you. It's something to do with them inside. Maybe they want to do what you're doing, but they're too scared. So don't always think it's about you. First of all, it might be about them, which is the first reason you shouldn't listen to it. Because imagine if you stopped doing what you're passionate about because somebody who's got a few insecurities told you they didn't like it. And actually, it was great for you. It was the perfect p path for you to follow. You shouldn't be listening. The second thing is just because they said it doesn't mean it's true. We will assume that if somebody has an opinion particularly the bad ones. It's funny, we don't think the same with the good ones, but if it's a bad opinion, we somehow believe it, it doesn't actually mean it's true. So if I were to come and meet you and say, ooh, I saw your um your, your YouTube, it's rubbish. Don't believe it, <laughs> simply because it's not often not about you. Don't believe everything everyone says. And thirdly, don't be a sponge. Don't take in all that negativity. Don't take in all that um, criticism. Learn how to put a few balls and let it bounce right off you. Largely because if you do become a sponge and you do take it in, you'll let people write your story instead of you. Imagine that. Imagine if you took on every bit of, of criticism somebody gave you. You wouldn't at the end of it have your path, have your creation as you've envisioned it. You'd have kind of Frankenstein mishmash of different directions that everyone's pushed you in, different viewpoints, different opinions. And it wouldn't really represent you at all. It wouldn't really represent what you, you believe in and what you think you're capable of and what you think you should be doing. So the key message for today is don't believe what people say. But how do you deal with this? Because sometimes it can be really intense. So, for example, take on positive criticism as if it's a way to refine what you're doing. So, for example, if somebody says you're not very good at this, say, okay, well, why? Don't take it as law yet. Just listen to them. If they say, um, I just don't think, I just think you're better than this. This is not for you. If they can't come up with a decent reason why, ignore it. If they've got some feedback like, yeah, I just think you should work harder in this area because it's a bit, you know, perfect. Then maybe that's some good feedback. So know the difference between feedback and someone just being a bit nasty. The key thing with any venture and any pursuit of anything is to have some faith in yourself. You're not going to get that from other people. So start... Start listening to yourself, listening to your own belief systems and knock out some of theirs. So don't listen to others. Use your affirmations, your positive affirmations that I spoke about last time to keep you going. I can do this. I will do this. I am capable. I am strong. Until it's a reality. Fake it until you feel it. You're amazing. You've got this. And don't listen to other people. Bye.